obi of nation his majesty igwe nna fred ugochuku achebe is currently trending on twitter for all the wrong reasons this has to do with the visit of the pdp presidential campaign delegation to anambra state and the campaign that they conducted uh, yesterday and he has put um, Igwe Achebe Diobi of Onisha into a bad light because of uh, the activities he undertook during that visit of Atiku Abubakar and his delegation. In fact, Twitter is buzzing and many people are very, very angry. Before we tell you what is happening, please kindly like this video, share it, and do also subscribe to our channel because we bring you all this compelling content many times over and over in a single day. So the contention is that Atiku was in Anambra State and the Obi of Onisha is of course, resident in Onisha, in a very palatial compound that have almost a mini stadium inside it. And it is usual that these presidential candidates do visit the traditional rulers in every domain they visit by the palace or the residence of that traditional ruler. But in Anambra State, something very, very untraditional happened. Will be of Onisha, gathered all his kings and shepherded all of them from Onisha to Oka in a rented hall to meet Atiku Abubakar. Now, as if that is not enough, when he wanted to address Atiku Abubakar, he stood up to address the People that are gathered there, the chiefs, and Abu, Atiku Abubakar sitting right on his left hand side. And many people are not happy at all with this turn of events. They are saying that Atiku Abubakar visited the mayor of Kano, the urban of Benin, the Oni of Ife, and the Sultan of Sokoto in their respective palaces. Palaces. But it was the turn of the Ubi of Onisha. And the Ubi of Onisha left his throne and visited Atiku Abubakar in a rented hall. And as a matter of fact, his palace is even more beautiful, highly decorated with paintings, carvings, and whatever traditional artifacts, looking much better than this hall that looks like um, where a principal addresses pupils. With all the kings in tow, all sitting and watching, and of course, the governor of Anambra State, Chukwu Macha Soludo, professor, was not professorial enough to know that this is against the tradition of the people. What do you expect? Now, let me tell you what many have said to the Bureau of Onisha in total disappointment on Twitter. The first person said, I find this picture very disturbing. How managed that Ubi of Onisha decided to go and meet Atiku in a rented hall? Question mark. Ubi Asogo David said, The disrespect and denigration Soludo and Atiku addition to Alaibo in the name of teaching Pito be a lesson is abominable. Look at Ubi of Onisha, the highest custodian of Igbo land, left his palace to go and meet Atiku at the governor's lodge. What an insult. Ezeval said Obi of Onisha and the entire Igwe that went to see Atiku at Oka just disgraced the Igbo race. They are shame. They shame me. Lilo said, waiting the pay me pass be say Obi of Onisha get even stadium. For him own compound. Why didn't he receive Atiku at his home? Obi, you don't mess up. Let me use the lighter language of what this person wrote. Naibo people, they do themselves, finally. 
And you can, if you look at his compound, you, you watch, you see that Palacio Palace, that green looking uh, stadium, almost a mini stadium, is his compound. And it's enough to uh, accommodate um, any PDP delegation. And look at his sitting room, reception room, very, very beautiful, traditional and uh, modern, all at the same time. Tudor said, Atiku pay cut se call visits to above Beni, only of Ife, Eme of Kano, and Sultan of Sokoto at their palaces. But invite to be of Onisha to meet him in Oka. I have never seen such kind of disrespect in my life. A big Joe from Lagos said, except Atiku badged into their meeting, then I can understand. Otherwise, this is a disgraceful outing by the be of Onisha. Will Atatiku ask Sultan of Sokoto to come and meet him in a rented hall? Ibo, Gine Kanye na Emedu. He ended with a question. And a piper from Onisha said, This man literally has a stadium in his compound to accommodate rallies with a big enough Ubi. Yet, the Almighty Ubi of Onisha left his mansion. To pay homage to Atiku at Oka. Shame to be of Onisha. Igbo Riz of Newe Kingdom can never embarrass his forefathers like this. And come to think of it, in the speech, he would, they were calling Atiku my in law. Yes, Atiku married a woman from Onisha. So normally, if your in law is coming, forget even that he's the be of Onisha, Atiku is supposed to go to the home of the in laws. Not to tell Obi of Onisha to leave Onisha and come to Oka. And you want the vote of these people and you are promising them what you will do for that uh, Onisha when you become president. And you are telling the traditional ruler of Onisha to come and meet you in another place. Sports Dokita said Atiku pays a courtesy visit to the Oba Benin, owner of Ifeme of Kano and Sultan of Sogota, their palaces, but he invites Obi of Onisha to Oka. And he went, Obi went. This is why Atiku will comfortably open his mouth and say, I am the stepping stone to an Igbo presidency. You know, Atiku wrote on his own Twitter handle about his visit, and his rally, his campaign, his address to a number of people. And he said, I just ended a consultation meeting with the Anambra State Council of Traditional Rulers, led by His Majesty Igwen Nemeka Alfred Ugochuku Achebe CFR. I am happy for the opportunity. <laughs> He's happy for the opportunity, but people are saying all the traditional rulers should have gone to Onisha, to Igwe Achebe's compound. He has a very palatial place to accommodate everybody. Finally, I will take one more. This guy says, Atiku sitting, sitting and Obi of Onisha standing. Take a look at the original Obi, Peter Obi, in this case, nailing to greet the king. I am ashamed to have been born Igbo. Do not be ashamed. Those who have done this should be ashamed of themselves. That is the reason that Obi of Onisha is trending on Twitter. And it's not good. Thank you for watching this video. Go to the comment section and tell us what you think. Please, please like, share, and subscribe.